Hey guys, it's Tech Genie back again with another video. So today we are reviewing the iPhone 6S. Um, we have a whole bunch of specs here which we're going to go through. So the screen is 4.7 inch Retina display um, with a uh, width of 7.1 millimeters. Now this is a little bit thicker than the predecessor of the iPhone 6, but this is to accommodate the new Force Touch screen. Now I don't think this makes a, lo a load of difference, and you don't really notice it. And actually, it's probably for the better because the Force Touch screen has a load of benefits. So looking quickly at the screen specs, we have a 1334 by 7 pixel, 750 pixel resolution, 326 ppi, and we have the iPhone 6s Plus at 401 ppi. Now looking at the profile, we have all the uh, um, bells and whistles in the same place. We have the speaker in the same place. Now one thing to note is the Touch ID. Now it has increased in uh, speed by quite a lot, so all you need to do is you press the button and it basically logs you in without having time to see the lock screen, which is actually quite nice. Um, you don't have to wait about it, you can just get into your phone really quickly and it's still got that security. Now I'm going to go into the camera into more detail in a second and the benefits of that. Now I mentioned the force touch, so obviously here you can force touch and you have a load of different options you can do. You can record slow-mo, take a selfie or whatever. Um, now what Apple have done is they've come up with this new thing called live photos and what this enables you to do by clicking that little yellow circle at the top is it takes a live photo and you force touch on the photo and it gives you a little video clip which is kind of nice in a way but we think it's just sort of bigging up video clip and it's not really such a amazing thing and apparently you can set it for your lock screen or home screen which we try to do to no avail um, so going onto the camera we have a 12 megapixel eyesight camera and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. Now the rear facing camera does allow us to shoot in 4K, however this phone um, comes as a baseline memory of 16 gigabytes. Now with 4K video you're not going to be able to store many uh, photos or videos on that uh, without memory. So basically in a way Apple are forcing you to then go with getting iCloud storage and then you're paying more money more money and obviously with the iPhones you don't have expandable storage so the only choice you really have is to get the larger uh, variants of 32 gigabytes or more and then you're just shelling out more money so really we think it's time that Apple got their um, game together and they actually changed it so the baseline was 32 gigabytes but hey there's not a lot we can do about that now um, so all in all it's a very nice phone apart from these a few downfalls which has been a problem with Apple for quite a while is their baseline at 16 gigabytes. But if you enjoyed this video guys please leave it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions do let us know. Um, and yeah thanks for checking out this video and we will see you around.